Yo everyone, so we're doing another edit of the gold and blue tones and we're borrowing one of Hollow Sun's photos. So we're just using his photos for this one to do a different edit. But if you guys like his style as well, I'll be putting all of his links down in the description so you guys can go give him a follow down there if you like. So we're going to be working with uh, this shot right here to recreate the gold and blue tones that I really, really like and that is used by people such as Garrett King. And yeah, let's get into Lightroom and I'll show you how I go about it. Okay, so I'll just chuck in a lot of warmth into the entire image. And we'll darken. I'll add in some split toning. So we need to add in quite a bit of blues into the shadows. And highlights, we're going to add a nice orange. But then this, this bit here is really important. So this controls how much the shadows or highlights are in the image. So I'm going to shift it this way. And that's going to put more of these blues into the entire image. And then if you go the other way, it's the opposite. It's putting all the highlights into the shadows as well. So I'm going to go more shadows. And then it's going to really cool down most of the image. Okay, so we get those real nice warm tones in the brightest of areas. And then we get those cool tones throughout, what you'd say, 90% or so of the image so that's quite important and useful this tool here for this look and if we come back up let's drop the contrast we're going to add in a lot of contrast with the curves and that's also going to allow us to get our colors um, highlights so we want heaps of detail in the brightest areas so you bring it down a lot but then it can look quite flat sometimes. So you want to keep your whites not too far down. Because otherwise it will look a bit unnatural. And then you want to do the same with the shadows and blacks. So bring the blacks down quite a bit. But then bring the shadows up. You get plenty of de detail by bringing the shadows up. But then you're keeping the blacks down a little. That way... It still looks natural. There's a bit, of, a bit of contrast in those darker areas. Okay, we'll just mess around with saturation now. So, if we come down... We need to really drop those oranges. Definitely those, those luminance. Just drop the saturation of the yellows. oranges okay looks a bit too desaturated at the moment but I'm gonna add in more color with the tone curves because when you add in contrast it's gonna add in saturation as well so it sort of does it with that curve there but we're gonna do it I mean with that slider here but we're gonna do that with the S curves and then we have more control over our colors. So I'll do the curves now.
Okay, so that's the tone curves done. And what I did is an S curve. And I just I tried to really bring out these nice bluey greens that you get. And say playing around with the blue curves is pretty big in this color. Because if you take blues out, you get a much warmer look. So... I tried to really cool off the highlights. They look a little too yellow. Put a bit of extra blue in there. And yeah, so the shadows you can see here are quite a bit. There's quite a bit more blue in there. How you can see it dips down much more than the other colors. And that's because I'm leaving quite a, just a bit more blue throughout all the shadows. And just keep, keep in mind that this affects contrast as well. So it's going to really uh, bring out and saturate those colors as well. Okay. And then this one is just for a fade pretty much. We want it pretty flat throughout the highlights. And then there's a good amount of fade here because it can look quite harsh. And then just a nice fade sort of gives that gives the appearance of more shadows as well there but I quite like that and then if we just come down I might chuck on a bit of a vignette that's good so I want, it, I want it a little moodier. Grain can stay zero, I think. Sharpening can come down. Get it nice and soft. Maybe just a, maybe just a touch. And hue saturation. Let's bring. That looks pretty good. Bring these oranges down a bit. These blues are a bit too saturated. Some of the aquas. Luminance, I want... We've got a nice pretty moody foreground and then the sky looks quite bright so I'm thinking bringing down the luminance of the blues and aquas a bit they could even come down a bit more but I might just leave them there uh, and then these greens look pretty good I might just warm them up About there, yellows, touch more on the orange side, and up here we want a bit more, a bit more of a teal look. We'll shift the blues towards the teal, just a touch. And yeah, should probably drop the saturation. But yeah, I think that's about it. We get those nice, it's like a bluey, greeny look with those really nice golden yellows and oranges. And yeah, a lot of coolness in those shadows and then a lot of warmth throughout the entire image. So the key to this one, I think it's tone curves is pretty key for this one. You want to really bring out those mid-tones and then like for the blues, we want less in those in there and more in the shadows. So tone curves can be pretty tricky. You don't use them on every single edit. You use 
you might tweak them but generally you'll just use the tone curves from your presets so if you guys really struggle with these you just find some presets with great tone curves mine if you get my presets there's a bunch of really great tone curves in there and then you find one you like and you just keep using that on every photo and then hopefully you can just tweak split split toning and that and you shouldn't have to work with the tone curves too much but yeah i'll just leave it there guys uh comment down below who you guys want to see because as you know i reach out to people who don't have too many followers but still have really great images and i get them to send in their photos and i do a tutorial on them so helps me if you do that and yeah you can go follow him down in the description all the links will be down there and thanks for watching guys leave a like leave a comment love to hear feedback catch you in the next one cheers